Hey folks, it's the uh, 10th of May today, 2018, and uh, welcome to another edition of my banana vlog here on the north end of Salt Spring Island. This is the way the Musabajus are looking today. They are grown like mad. The weather's been very dry here, so we have been watering the garden for the last uh, uh, week or so. And uh, these uh, bananas are, uh, are really pushing out the growth now. And uh, by, uh, by midsummer, these things will be at least 17 foot in height. And I'll grab the camera in a minute and I will uh, show you how these Japanese fiber bananas are looking close up. They are uh, right on schedule as, uh, as usual at this time every year. And there's another clump down here. And then we have another uh, tall clump in the, uh, in the upper garden. So it's been a lot of sunshine and a lot of warm days and that's what the Musabaju like. They are in really good soil here. But um, I am going to have to like start watering these. I haven't uh, I haven't watered these, but we've been watering other parts of the garden, so we're going to have to start pouring the water to these too because uh, things are starting to dry out here. Easy to grow. Anybody can grow musabaju, Japanese fiber bananas. There's no trick to it. Most people here don't even protect them. There's a big clump growing near our shop, and uh, no protection whatsoever. And they got about eight foot canes on them with uh, with leaves coming out. So there you go, folks. Musabaju growing here on Salt Spring Island. And this is what they're looking like today. Some bigger canes here. And there's my weather, one of my weather stations right, right beside them. <laughs> so coldest temperatures they endured this winter was minus 2.5 degrees Celsius or 27.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Give them a try in your own garden, folks. They're very root hardy. To have them a good uh, winter mulch if you live in a cold zone and uh, they'll bounce back in the spring. All right, cheers. <laughs> 